of shoes, but they are some huge shoes to fill. You always knew there was going to be something big. You sat on the edge of your seat just expecting him to make your jaw drop. Every night when I came to the arena, it wasn't just a game. I knew I was witnessing history. And as the team photographer for the Chicago Bulls, Bill Smith had the high-stakes job of freezing history. Every night, every heart-stopping slam dunk, alley-oop, and buzzer beater. I missed a shot, and I'd see it on the replay. I'd be depressed for, for days. Smith rarely had to worry about that because so many of his images became seared in our collective memories. Few as iconic as this. Well, they're on their feet here at Chicago Stadium. But to land that perfect shot, both guys needed to bring their A game, which they did to perfection during the 1988 NBA Slam Dunk Contest. This is one of the epic slam dunk contests of all time. Michael Jordan versus the human highlight film, Dominique Wilkins. And it came down to the, the final attempt. Michael Jordan needs a 49 to win. I had a chance to win. You know, I wanted to do something special. Now he's going to the baseline. And the intensity and the energy was unbelievable. And here he came down the length of the court, and he just took off at the foul line. He flew through the air, you know, like a bird, to the rim, and put it down, and Chicago Stadium went berserk. Well, the crowd lets you know what they think of it. I was just sitting there hoping I didn't screw it up. <laughs> I just prayed. I think I literally prayed the night that I had the shot. This was back before the instant gratification of digital cameras. And Smith remembers camping out at the lab until his film was developed. And you're nervous and your hand's shaking and you have your loop and then, you know, and then you see it, but is it in focus? And when it's in focus, I just thought, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. When you watched Michael Jordan and you watched his aerial act, it seemed as if he would never come down. In this picture, it's the dream come true. It's Jordan defying gravity. It is Air Jordan. Uh, can I say one picture illustrated my whole career, but that would be very close. Sometimes I dream that he is me. Any kid who picked up a basketball in the last quarter of a century wanted to be like Mike. But there were plenty of big kids like me who secretly shared the dream. So I agree to try whatever it takes to be like Mike, and Bill Smith agrees to try to get me there. We might have to have uh, a few bales of, of wire and, uh, and some riggers on hand and our Photoshop skills in post-production. And make sure there's a trampoline, you know, some soft landing spot. Like that, right? <laughs> Is there a second intern? Yeah, number two. Intern number one's on the way to the hospital. <laughs> I mean, ideally, if we had like a thin wire to hold each leg in position, what do you think? <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? We're good. How are you? Uh, I feel great now. Am I going to feel great in a couple of hours? How hard is this going to be? It's going to be hard. <laughs> no, you're fine. It's going to be hard. But, you know, let me, all right. Tough. Tough. Take two. No, it's not going to be that hard. Not actually. No, <laughs> really? It's proven a little more difficult than we thought. Uh, yeah. Actually accomplishing faking it is not going to be that easy. It hasn't been with uh, with the NBC interns. Oh, it's the NBC interns. It's true. Come down. I forgot about Bill, that. Come on, you have okay. a real deal here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's give it a shot. This is a high tech version of Spanx, right? He's got to get a deep, deep tan and shave off a lot more of his hair. I think I am uh, committing some kind of basketball sin right now. I'm tarnishing the uniform of Michael Jordan. <laughs> I don't think you even need the uh, harness anymore. I, th I put this on, I think I can fly. Really? I, yeah, I think I can fly. All right. All right, well, let's get me up there. Now, Bill, speed is of the essence here, all right? <laughs> the longer I hang here, the crankier I get and the more chafed I get, all right? Discounting my mad jumping skills, Bill turns me into a human marionette, suspending me with an elaborate system of harnesses, 
pulleys, and fishing line to manipulate each appendage. Ugh. The closer I am to the original position, the easier it will be for Bill to remove me from this background and electronically take me back to Chicago in 1988. Raise his left leg higher, bring the ball back. Bring the right knee down towards the floor. Left yeah. leg higher, and twist your ankles, your hand up higher, please. Shoulders back, jaw out. Intense look. I grimace and bear it, holding the excruciating pose for an hour and a half while enduring the crew's seemingly endless critique of my misaligned body parts. Well, I gotta hold that. The human body doesn't go in that position. Ah. It's almost as if ah. he is this basketball superstar, superhero version of Gumby. Every joint hurts. He uh, bends and contorts himself in a way that shouldn't be possible. Ball back. I can't. Okay. And then adding insult to injury, they forget about me. Okay, he needs to like twist toward the camera a little bit. Yeah. Don't worry about leaving me hanging here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Good. Okay, it's a wrap. So did all that harness burn pay off? <laughs> Wow, that's pretty good. But that's just one dump. Can you make a jump shot? <laughs> that's what I need to know. Just for another <laughs> segment. All right, so let's see how we did. By the way, I just want to thank Bill Smith because he was fantastic to work with. So let's take a look at the original iconic photo of Michael Jordan. Okay. There he is in 1988. Mm -hmm. And here's what we created. Wow. wow. You get it. That is amazing. There are some things that aren't exactly yeah. right. My, my feet are in a slightly different position. I just could not get. Wow. Keep in mind, he propelled himself yeah. into right. the air. He was a man in motion, yep. and we were hanging. But, you can um, barely tell you're chafing. Uh, and yeah. you've never been the same since, you know, right? It, took, it really <laughs> was painful. I and my apologies to those interns <laughs> who had to endure it before me. Let me also thank the team of the Broadway show Fuerza Bruta, who enjoyed rigging me up maybe a little too much, actually. <laughs> but you're a real boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and tomorrow, Natalie will transform herself into one of the most pivotal stars of early Hollywood. We're talking about Charlie Chaplin. Oh. But up next, former American Idol Jordan Sparks on her first movie and what it was like to work with her idol, Whitney Houston. That's right after this. Oh,